since the beginning of Minecraft 1.12, I was working on this huge project for a total of 109 hours. From time to time, it does indeed get very stressful. You got to be wondering, what was this huge project? This project is what I call the ultimate one command creation. The ultimate one command creation is Neon Sign. This is also open source, meaning you can edit it to any way. But you must say that it was edited by you, and the original was by Dr. Lion78. What's funny is that I finished this on the last day of Minecraft 1.12.2. I did this whole command creation by hand, no generous or anything. The actual ultimate one command creation is not the command block because there's 10 of them total. It is the loot table. The command block in a loot table is actually 300,000 characters long. That is a large number. In game, the command block loads around 155,000 characters. Do the escape characters got converted while it's loading? On the other hand, the other command block in a loot table, the neon sign book, is actually 45,000 characters long, but it loads around 15,000 characters in game, also because escape characters got converted. I give thanks to God for helping me to make this happen and to keep me motivated. I mean, I can't show you the project here, so you'll see what I what I mean. So we're gonna, because I don't want to, well never mind, that's just gonna get going. So I'm just gonna create a new world. We'll just give it a uh, C0. How about that? Alright, so we, oh, okay, the different, and there's, okay, well, there are two ways to actually install this to your world. One way is through command blocks, and the other one will be through loot tables, but I'm going to show you the command block one first. So if you there, you can have a choice of either making it global or making it to where it's only when you're near it. But I think you might want the global option. So in order to make this global, we're gonna first find our spawn chunk. Which in order to do that, we're gonna first. If you didn't change your your spawn radius the whole time, remember to change it back to ten. Like like this, but we're gonna put zero so that way I can find out where I spawn. So I spawn right here. So there you go. So now we just need to. There you go. So we go to F three. Uh, then you see these numbers, see these numbers over here? See, these are where you're supposed to be looking at. But you only look at this set over here. So you can go to this one. You can go 15 by 15. And we should be standing exactly on just a block above. So you, so you do this command if you like. If you want to place a block there instead of building your way up. So that's how you measure that. Now we're just going to measure all the way to zero.
then this is where zero is. So you go to this one. And our machine is nine blocks tall, so I would try going nine blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If it's more than nine blocks, but then you don't need to worry about it. But if you're on a different one, such as this where you're at is two below, you're on another chunk, like like it happened here. Then I would try um let's see. See this is where you're actually gonna put it. That's where you're gonna put it. And make sure you're facing south because our machine is going south. Then you put your command block five blocks this way, like to the north, the opposite direction. This is two, no, one, two, three, four. And your fifth block, actually, sorry, it's four blocks. And this is our fifth block right here. This is where your command block will be. And since it's already floaty, if you want to in ground, you'll put it another block down. But it's fine right here because uh, it's already above ground, anyways. Unless you don't want that, then yeah, you put it one block down if you want to be in the ground. Like, actually, like, like this is the ground. Like, you want to be in, if you want to be like right on top instead of floating. Maybe you want it, like, not like this. Like, you just get this the whole time. So you want it like this. If you want it like that, then yeah, you put one block down. So, yeah, now let's get to the pacing command. Oops, sorry, I, wrong button. Alright, so, gonna exit full screen. Yeah, you're gonna have to go back. Okay, we're back, so... This is our... And it's eight command blocks, by the way. It's eight commands that you're gonna be pasting. So, I'm, so, I know it's a lot. We have something like this happen. We have blocks on top of the command block. Make sure you move them, or else they won't work. Then you... You can, you can put always... At, you can use a redstone. But you place it on the right side of it. And make sure you're facing south too. You're placing it on the right side if you're using redstone block. Otherwise you just put always active and then there you go. Alright, and uh, then you paste your second one, and then it's so on and so forth. Oh yeah, if you don't want it to spam like that, then do game rule command block output false. False, sorry. Then if you have like your log admin, like right here, then you are probably, is this even updated? Yeah, it, okay, yeah, it is that one. Okay. So if you have something like that, your logout, then in your launcher, which I can show you later, then you do log uh, admin commands false if you don't want to be spamming your chat. And as you see, this has stopped already. See, now it's been updated to false. Alright, then we continue with part 3 and then the rest of them. Use, co use Control c to copy, Control v to paste. I'm not sure how it is in Mac though. Now part six, this is where you start to have a sign. So you right click it and then it and then it'll keep going. So part six, seven, and eight, it starts doing that. 
and here's the reason why. It's because we have like colored and metid tags here. So that's why it, I start using a sign, because that's the only way you can get that to work. Either that or a loot table. And this is multiplayer friendly, so if you do it in multiplayer world, it will not get you kicked out. And see, it will get you that greeting, neon sign, the initializing that says hello. Then it, it won't say Dr. Knight Sandy, it, it'll say your name. I am the, I am the neon sign. If you would like to receive the items, insert the ninth and tenth command in front of you, which is the command we're currently using. Have fun and may God bless you. So I will have to, and all of these commands, it's going to be in the description, uh, in pastebin.com. Your ninth, your this command will be just normal, and you will have to right click the sign too. Now your second part, um, this is where you can't. This is not a normal pasting. You'll be using the same command that it just popped out. But you replace only these at the end. And then you delete it. Then after that you paste it. After that. Then there you go, you got the book. And you can delete the command log afterwards. Actually, I'm just gonna keep it there for there you go. Because I'm gonna be needing the needing it there for the loot table one. Now, if for some reason your signs didn't load, okay, it did that. It did that last time I tried it. You just do the initializer again. You don't move on to part two. You just do it again. So that's if you got that. If that starts happening. Oh yeah, and before we start, it's kind of buggy that not all the commands are working. This one, you cut and paste Control X to cut. Then you reset it by changing the rest zone. Paste it again, control V, and always always active. Then that's then this one's now that this one is reset again, so it'll not work. This one is also not working, so this one right there. Cut. Needs rest zone. Paste. Always active. This one's working now. This top one is also not working. Control X, needs rest zone. And paste always active. So it's only three command locks that weren't working. I'm not sure why I tried my best to fix it. There was nothing really I can do for that. Alright, so that's about it. So they're not all working. Oh, and the machine is also not really, it's only partially active when it was in the, in the process of creating it. So to fix that, you disable it. So you're disabling. And then disable, then you enable again there, and then you're full. Then I was fully working. Now, what was that? Now, you're wondering why did we fix those three command locks over there? Well, it's because they weren't really functioning well. I'm not sure why that happened, but but at least they're fixed. All right, so you got this book, and I thought it was neat if I put the, the hovering text. Like, there's, like I just thought it was neat, I, I added that. Now, the best part about these is that you can click them and it takes you there. And you click the section, it takes you back. Subsection like these, like you click the arrows, you go back, it takes you only back to the section. And you click this again, and go back to table of contents. Now, the about page, I just basically to tell you what this is about. And there is 16 spawn eggs, so that I know it's a lot. Uh, the two types of spawn eggs are a double arrow spawn egg, which is bold and non-bold, and the cross spawn egg. You might click the egg anywhere, the spawn egg anywhere to replace it, to place the neon sign. And the help is just to provide help, which I'll tell you, which I'll tell you throughout this, this video, about how, about how this, how this works and some of the bugs. Now to get the items, you click on spawn egg. Then you click on this. Well, actually, it's first of all find out which kind of neon sign you want, which is double arrows we're doing. Then left arrow is bolded. Now these are your these will give you a spawning instead of taking you somewhere. See, there's a floating text, the ground floating text, and standing wall sign. That's what SW stands for. 
you click on the floating text, and there you go, you got it. And the proof, proof to you, it is global. Let's go far away. Because the spawn shark is if you want to make it global. So how about this island over here? So by then, the command you would say is despawned, like some of them, but it's still working just fine. It may be buggy like that, but if you make an, if you make another one, like a different type. Let me do that real quick. I'll just get the fire arrows flowing. Hmm. They were working in a different world. There you go. So yeah, you need to you need to reload the chunks first, and then. And then you can do that. Alright, so now let me actually show it to you. I guess we can stay here. Okay, um, to your left arrows, this is what they look like. Yeah. There you go, now you can see it. Like that. Now the ground flowing text looks like this, but it is great if you put it, if you put it somewhere where if you want to put it like in front of a glass. For example, you have this right here. So I place in front of something. This is the this the spawning for you. So that's what it is for. Alright, now the standing wall sign. Then if you don't have a sign, this is what happens. It just, it'll, it'll start getting all these particles. To fix that, you place the sign. Then it'll go back to normal. Now if you have like multiple, now if you do another one, there, this is a bug that all all that they'll all do that so be careful and make sure you do have a sign before you place it so the way you do it you could put the sign and put it not on the sign like directly on it put it like on the block where it is then that's how you do it oops wrong one then we're going to right arrows bolt. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So it looks something like this. Sorry, it's just the lighting, by the way. What I'm doing right now, I'm just showing you like how many spawnings there actually is. Like this is how much it'll look like in your inventory. I'm not going to show you what ground floating and, and the standing wall sign is because they're about the same. So left arrows, this is what the left arrows look like. They look something like this. There you go. Alright, then now here's just what the right arrows look like. And I'll give you the floating text again. They look something like this. Alright, be careful when looking at it because sometimes it'll be hard to see if you look at it from an ocean or water. Okay, so, so far it looks like that's a lot of spawn eggs so far. We haven't even got to the last one yet. The last one will only be just three more. Now this is the cross, so I'm going to show you what it looks looks like. 
Oh, I'm floating this again. It looks something like this. So it has the broadcast right here. So it says Jesus is the way. But that's not the full message. It's going to be Jesus is the way and the truth. Ah, there you go. Let me see if I can fix it. I guess it's like this because it, it's a lot of command blocks. Okay, yeah. So it's a broadcast. Now I'll show you what the standing wall sign looks like. But before we do that, I'm going to show you some of the options. So we have to remove neon sign, which is the one how you remove it. That's only an option. And you can remove multiples. So, for example, you have this. Um, let's just put one and then put it right. Oops. Okay, I deleted it. But that's okay, though. Can I remove it? So, you can remove a lot of them at once. Then there you go. So now we cleared everything up. So that's your remove neon sign. Now let me show you the the extended neon sign tracker. That was the that was the three commands we're trying to fix. We're trying to fix it in order for that to work. So that one is ENS, which stands for extended neon sign tracker. Okay, so what turns out what happened is make sure you enable the the, the machine first, and then and then you reset them. So so be careful with that. After that, now they should work. I'm just gonna go over here to continue to be used globally. See now it still works. See something like this. This is used for in case you forgot the sign for the neon for the cross standing wall sign. So you won't show the particles due to a huge bug. So what you do, you turn it right click, turn it on, then it'll tell you if it is found. If it is found, then you place the sign. How, how do you know it's working? It's if you see the cross and the broadcast. <clears throat> see, and that is a small bug that when you hold it, it does sound again. And then you right click again to turn it off. But whenever you're like in, in a laggy world or server, then you may need to do this. So that way you won't be stuck and it, you won't be stuck like in the on forever. Do you scoreboard, uh, players, reset, your name. Then it's ENS tracker. Then there you go. So that way, it's if you're, it's if it lagged, then it added too many when you right clicked it. Then that's what what you do in case in case it does that. All right, so so now I'm gonna show you what the reset does. So for example, we'll just put the left arrow with bold here. The reset it reset and destroy both give you warning. So it'll tell you, do you want to reset all your, you want to reset all your progress will be lost. I mean, the reason why it's white because of the chat size. Like it kind of cuts out. 
So you put no, it cancels, and you can't try it again because it's going to say, say this me error message. So you have to click this again for it to work. And if you click yes, then you notice now it's gone. Or sorry, it resets everything. Not of the world, I tried that. So they tend to despawn the neon signs. So I would try it. So when you reset, it only resets only around here, like kind of close to where the to where the machine is. So if you want to put it far away, like remove them, you remove them from there where you put them. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. I couldn't fix. I couldn't fix it. Okay, now what does the destroy do? What is the Let's put this right here. So what does this one do? The destroy it just destroys the machine. It does ask you multiple options. You same thing. You cannot go back. You put yes. Yeah, gonna ask you again. Are you really sure? Then it's this reset and destroy or just destroy. I did cover it to show you that does do it. I don't do it for the first stop for the first question. Second one and and then on I do. No also cancels it and cancel just cancels it. Reset and destroy it resets and destroys it and destroy it doesn't do it doesn't reset it just goes straight destroying. So I'm gonna show you what the reset and destroy do. So you click that so in case you don't remember which one you click, I put your choice, then and then I tell you what choice you made. Cancels, cancels the whole thing. Confirm it resets then destroys it. So reset complete by make up bless you and it show you it does work, it this one's now gone. All right, now the second method is loot table. So for loot table, uh, here's what you need to do first. You can go to run. That, that's that's one that's one way, and then you can type person app data from here. But there's a quicker way. What you can also do is open your file explorer. Then you click up there and put percent up data. Percent. I'm not sure what the path is to the Mac computers. Then you push enter. Then you whatever folder you used for your world, but mine's in Romy, so just go here, dot Minecraft, save the world name, which mine is New World, data. Then if you don't have a loot table at all, like any custom, you create a new folder called loot tables like this. And the file that I'm, I called it for my loot tail for it to work with neon signs like this. Now I have it right here, but but you may not have that already. So what here's one that I provide also the the command uh. uh the actual, which you're gonna put, we're gonna put in the file in the description, it, also on pagement.com. So what you do is you, after you've done all that, create the folder, you create a text document, and you call it exactly like this: neon signs version one zero. Then you open it, paste it, and you click save as. Then this is gonna be all files. Then at the end you put dot json and then you click save since i already have it uh, i'm not going to do that all right so what you do from here now is we're going to keep this command out here because that's where we where exactly we're making it it's still going to be spawn rate if you want to make it global so the same method that we did when we just did command block so you can do this if you like to get the fancy text and everything. But if you don't want all of that, uh, then you can just give yourself this, which is slash give your name chess one zero. No, actually chess. Then block entity data. And block entity tag, sorry. Then it's gonna be loot table. 
neon sign call it neon sign version one zero that's if you want it like that instead of doing the big one and if you can see it does work okay and what this does if you did paste it from the one in the description as well then you right click the sign then you get this neon science command then you also you got this here the neon science check command and you still got the command block this is for if you pay if you put this here it gives you the book right away so that's what it is and then here's your your neon sign version one which this is why i call the ultimate one command creation because this is all in one command block so that's what this is Then what you do here, you put it exactly at the spot where you want to put it. Right now in the log, it should be telling me fail, fail to save player data. The reason why is because I have a, a really long string, which is 155,546 characters in there. It's actually 300,000, but it, it, they all converted since I'm using MOTD code inside, inside the text file. So exactly where this is at, make sure you put it right, because it will activate right away. Then ours is right here, so you place that. Make sure you have no blocks above. And it is very laggy when you do the loot table method. But you will get the actual one command. Now if the signs don't load, um, then then you can do either do it again or you do or you do the command block method instead of the loot table. So that's if these signs don't load for some reason. So there you go, it does the exact same thing, it gives you a greeting, and then the insert 9 and 10. But technically you don't need to do that since you already got the command lock for the book, when you did the loot table method. Then everything should be, and just like, just like it, just like the same thing, you reset it, disabling. Then you enable it back. Reset all these command locks because for some reason they still don't, don't work. Even at the new table, they still don't work. Next one, right here. And the very top one, the top repeating command block. And as you see, now it works. So anyways, for whenever you want to disable it, this is the one you're going to click. But just so you know, it won't work after that. You have to disable it. Um, the reason why I'm taking long to disable is because you have a big clock here, so I have to take it time for it to dis disable. See, when you disable it, it won't like, teleport. Then you push enable, then now they get teleported. So for some reason, whenever you disable it, you gotta always reset the command box. I know that's like, I know it's a pain, but, but you have to keep doing it. I couldn't, I don't know why it keeps breaking. But yeah, that's what you do. You always reset it every time you disable it and enable it. And especially when you just made it. And just tell you what the, what the reset does. Like I won't even place it because it won't reset. So you just destroy it. It will tell you to destroy it. If you confirm, it'll just skip the resetting, it'll just destroy everything. That's what it does. It just the whole thing gets removed. Okay, one thing that you need to also note is whenever you have the the chest again, let me get it back. Wait a minute, what was I doing?
There you go. So whenever you have this command with you, make sure you you get rid of it in your inventory and in the world because it does because it does fail in your log it will complain saying that that it's too many characters. So I would so I would try to see if they fail place their data say player data because it's too long. That's why I would try getting rid of it in your inventory and in the world. Because it does carry a lot of characters. So it fails chunks even when you save it fails to save the chunk. So I don't know if it causes any game crashes so I would just be careful with it. So that's one thing that you should know. I gave her the chest just to be safe, but it shouldn't really hurt you because it all it does is just have the data type, which is the loot table one. It shouldn't have the command blo command blocks in there. But yeah, that's one thing to, to actually tell you. And also for the open the open source, like how does everything how does everything work, and tell you how to edit it. That will be talked about in the next video. But yeah, the left and the on science command. So I hope you so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and may God bless you all.